A very happy and cheerful morning to all my dear students. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and taking good care of your health. So students, are you ready for your social studies class? See children, today we will start a fresh new chapter. Chapter number 19, Our Rights and Duties. So do you know as a citizen of India, we have some rights and duties towards our nation. So come on, let's see the chapter. So children, open your textbooks. Page number, chapter 19, page number 114. Okay, let's start. The name of our chapter is Our Rights and Duties. So children, Take a pencil and underline the important points along with me. Okay. See. Our country is governed by a set of rules. Our country means India. India is governed by a set of rules. Children governed means controlled. Okay. If we will have rules then only discipline will be maintained. Right. A simple example, in school, if we do not have rules and regulations, then will discipline be maintained? No. In the same way, in our country, so our country is governed by a set of rules. And these rules, it is in the form of a book. These rules are in the form of a book. And what is that book called, children? The Constitution of India. Okay. What is this book called? Constitution of India. I will show you a picture of Constitution. See. This is a book of Constitution of India. Okay. See. This is the Constitution. Our rights. Let us move further. Our constitution is the longest written constitution of the world. Isn't it great children? Our constitution is the longest written constitution in the entire world. Remember this point. It is the supreme law of the land. It is the supreme higher law of the land. All laws are framed Keeping in mind the rules written in the constitution of India. I showed you a book of constitution of India. So, all laws are framed keeping in mind the rules. Okay. Our constitution came into effect on 26th January 1950. And when finally our constitution was applied or when it came into effect, remember 26th January 1950. That is why on 26th January what do we celebrate? Yes children, Republic Day. We celebrate this day as Republic Day. India is a republic. It implies that our country is governed by a president and representatives elected by the people. What does this mean? That our country is governed, controlled by a president. You will tell me in your homework that who is the president of our country. Okay. So, it implies that our country is governed by a president and representatives elected by the people. And the representatives that are chosen, elected means chosen by people. Again, I will give you a simple example of your school. For in our school, we have different leaders, head boy, head girl, class leader, right? So, who chooses the leader? We vote for them. So, in the same way, there are some representatives that are elected by the people. A country that has a king or queen as the ruler 
is called a monarchy. Very important question, children. A country in which the rule is done by a king or a queen. That means, kisi country mein agar ruler, king ya queen hai, so what do we call that country? A monarchy. Okay. Great Britain has a monarchy. Now, here's one example for you that Great Britain has a monarchy. Now, for the revision of this much portion, I will show you a short video. Okay, just listen and see to the video carefully. Deeds. Deeds. Our rights and duties. Our country is governed by a set of rules. It is in the form of a book called the Constitution of India. Our constitution is the longest written constitution. See children, this is the book that is the Constitution of India which is the longest written constitution of the world. Constitution of the world. It is the supreme law of the land. All laws are framed keeping in mind the rules written in the Constitution of India. Our constitution came into effect on 26th January 1950. We celebrate this day as Republic Day. India is a republic. It implies that our country is governed by a president and representatives elected by the people. A country that has a king or queen as the ruler is called monarchy. Great Britain has monarchy. Democracy. Okay, so children, I hope you have understood this much portion. And now, here's a short homework for you. Only six blanks. Okay, you will solve it if you have listened to the video carefully. First, the set of rules is in the form of a book called the dash. You have to mention the name of the book of set of rules. Second, our constitution came into effect on dash. On which date and year our constitution came into effect? Just write the correct answer. Third, our country is governed by a president and dash elected by the people. You know the answer children. Fourth, a country that has a king or a queen as the ruler is called dash. Just now we discussed, right? Our constitution is the dash law of the land. What will come here? Think and answer. Last one. Our constitution is the longest written constitution of the Think and answer. Okay, children. So, I hope today's topic was clear for you. We'll meet in the next video lesson with our further explanation. Till then, revise this much. Take care. Keep smiling. May God bless you.